All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is The Suburban Ginger, and now we got some work to do. As you can see, this is uh, the third round of the Sand Dune Classic, and All Good has made the turn at one under on the day, 11 under for the tournament, which is pretty decent, but uh, eight shots back of the current leader. So he's going to have to do some work to uh, have a shot of winning this thing on Sunday. Before we jump in, guys, again, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, get those notifications on, and of course post your comments down below if you'd like to uh, interact with me as these uh, videos keep coming out for the Golf Club 2019. But right now we're going to get straight into it to number 10 T. And let's see what the 10th has in store. So another lovely par 4 over this... Uh, Quarry Lake here at Devon Quarry Country Club, and all good. Well, he might be re-examining his options here. He has three wood in hand, but he knows he's got to make some. He's got to make some hay. Well, that's a dangerous prospect, though, trying to carry that bunker. I think three wood's going to satisfy him here. Yeah, I think this one's going to find the fairway. And about 235 yards to go. So he has this hole playing more like a par 5 with the pin all the way in the back. But still within range for the Suburban Ginger. All good going with hybrid here. Maybe trying to run it back toward that flag. It looks like the uh, hybrid is on display here. This shot looks bound for the beach, folks. Oh, just to get caught in that front bunker. And that one's going to miss the green. All right. Got himself a flop shot here. Hopefully trying to get it close. Decent lie in the bunker here. I'm trying to save par. Always been pretty good from the sand. That's all good. Really nice shot out of the sand. I'm thinking par is going to be next. Just and that does. one drops. Oof, just does par. curl in the par putt. Good save on the And after ten. that one, staying right there in fourth place. And moving on to the eleventh hole. Number 11, another medium length par 4, but almost dead straight and slightly into the wind. Just coming out of the, uh, coming out of the left. And just a powerful drive here. Hey, you could sense a little bit of frustration in that swing there, John. And about 165 yards to the pin. And again, tucked up pretty close to that front bunker. Something certainly to consider. All good with seven iron. And this shot's looking pretty good. On a great line. Oh, brilliant shot from Allgood. And he's on the green. And this one's for birdie. Seven footer. Right in the heart. And a nice putt. And after that one, currently sitting at two under for the day. Hopefully trying to get some momentum here on the back nine. And setting up for the par 3 hole. Medium length par 3 here, playing a bit longer and dead into the wind. Really important for the players to get the ball up on that back shelf to have a realistic chance for birdie. Oh, it looks like he's clubbing all the way up to a 4 iron here, trying to get it on that back shelf. Going with the four iron here. That iron is laser straight. Just might be a bit long. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that was a that was a poor approach. Too much club. Yeah, just a bit long there. Chipped it in. We'll drop. Brilliant. A brilliant birdie. And that hole is going to allow him to move up in the standings. Moves up to a tie for third now. Certainly building some momentum on the back nine. And now the 13th hole. And again with a par five here. Something certainly to take advantage of. Right into the sun. Drives it right into the tightest part of the fairway. He certainly is uh, feeling some momentum, I believe. Nice shot. I think you'll like that. From here, 220 to the pin. So again, the pin sort of flirting with that bunker. Not something you really want to go at. Hybrid for all good. 219 out. And I think that's the hybrid. Trying to work it in between those bunkers. And he's done so brilliantly. Decent chance for Eagle coming up. Very well played golf shot. Hitting this par 5 and 2, it's going to set up some serious possibilities. Got a downhill slider here for his Eagle. Though I think he'd be content with the two putt. Oh, just not high enough, but a good effort. And just missing that eagle, that could have been a huge two strokes off of their scorecard, but uh, that's how it goes. And after that one, uh, holding steady in third place. Now we have a two way tie for first as both. Uh, as, as Thomas Detry of Belgium has joined Michael Gligic of Canada, both sitting at 19 under, with Detry still having holes to play. Allgood currently sits uh, five back of those two. And setting up now on the 14th hole. This one's looking pretty good so far. And about 170 yards to the pin. Big false front here on this green. Definitely want to carry your shots far enough. All good with six iron. And looks like a six iron. It's on the way. Will it clear the false front? Looks like it does. And we'll have a decent chance for birdie. 15 feet away here. 15 footer, 15 footer, 15 footer. Putt moving uh, uphill and left to right. Usually does pretty well with these. It's on a good line. Is it high enough? Oh. Just misses on the low side. And just missing the birdie there. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Now let's see how things are shaping up on the leaderboard. In third place on the leaderboard. Detri's moved to 20 under through 15. Eight under on the day, brilliant round from him. All good now, six back of the leader. And setting up now on the 15th tee. Absolutely pummeled. Right down the middle of the fairway. From 115 yards out. All good with gap wedge here for his approach. 
quick with the swing there. But and this one's heading really towards good. the green. Oh, off the stick! And dialed in from My the fairway goodness. on that one. And nothing wrong with that shot. Right off the stick and a kick in birdie. Well done. And after that one, he's going to stay right where he was on the leaderboard. All good, trying to finish with a flurry here to stay in the top. And be close enough to capture this uh, tournament on Sunday. And now setting up on the par three. 16 here, downhill par three. Pin in uh, the middle-ish part of the green. has six iron in hand here. And going with the six iron. Might stay up. Might have to chip. Uh, just as roll off the front. Well, not a very great approach shot there. Just didn't have enough club. He's already chipped one in today. Let's see if he can do it again. That one's going to come up just short, I believe. This one looks about uh, four feet. And a decent little putt there. Yeah, it's very nice. Very solid. And after that one, five under par for the day. So now Detri has bogeyed 17, so all could only four back now of the uh, of the uh, Canadian Michael Gligic and the Belgian Thomas Detri, both sitting at the top of the leaderboard at 19 under. And let's see what the 17th has in store. 17th, definitely a birdie opportunity, provided you hit your drive in the right part of the fairway. And look at the distance on this. It should have a chance to take dead aim here. And about 155 yards out. Eight iron is a decent club, decent approach club. This is pretty much a green light special here for him. Let's see if he can't put one close. Going with the eight iron. Looking pretty good so far. That is a fantastic approach. Very confident swing from all good there. Pretty sure he's going to like that one. This putt's for birdie. Just a little four-footer. And the putt will drop. And after that one, there's six under for the day. Now just three back of the leaders with one to play. Detri in the clubhouse at seven under on the day. And of course, Glikic has been done for some time shooting at a very solid six under. Both sitting at 19 under, but just three shots back is the American. And as he tees off here on the uh, final hole, he's only three strokes off the lead. All good going a bit uh, conservative here. Three wood off the tee. Again, very much a downhill hole. going to be a 200 and almost 280 yard three wood for him so. and i think he will be happy with that very much from time. 245 yards out this is difficult this is a this is a gamble here if you want to go for it i know all good's more of the aggressive mindset he's got his driver out he's also taking a look saying that's a long carry plenty of space over there to hit with three wood i think that's what he's going for Going with the three wood. Trying to hit that and with this one, I don't think he's going to reach the green. That's a, a sensible play, I would say, at this time. As good as his short game is known to be, that might be a very sensible play. Go 
going with a long flop shot here. Trying to scoot it on the front edge and let it roll back. That's exactly what he's done. Very sensible. Very nice. It's about six feet to go here. And that'll drop for birdie. Very solid finish for all good there. Making it very interesting. And Luke, he looks to be in fairly fine form out there today as his round comes to an end, wouldn't you say? Well, this player has shown some glimpses of their real potential over the first three days. Why don't they bring it out on that championship Sunday? Well, on behalf of John, I'm Luke. Catch you again tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for round three from the Sand Dune Classic at Devon Quarry Country Club. All good through some stellar play on the back nine has put himself very much in the mix here. And there's going to be a showdown with Thomas Detry of Belgium and Michael Gligic of Canada on Sunday for the final round. Make sure you come back very soon to check that out. Final round coverage, of course, on uh, Colt All Good Golf which is where you are right now. So since you're here, leave a like, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, get those notifications on so you are one of the first to know what happens in round four. But until we, uh, until we talk again, this is the Suburban Ginger signing off. Thank you guys for watching and just keep swinging.